Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Heather. I'm sorry I've not made a video in a while on here. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys why um, in a minute. But if you guys want real information of autoimmune, um, more involved in it, how to even go about it, watch my channel. My channel for this Inside the Mind of a Diva is everything that I love and that makes up me and things I suffer through. So it's not just autoimmune and all that. I'll be doing makeup, skincare so important for like you have no idea how important it is especially with an autoimmune disease um it's gonna be everything you know so this year i want to build up this channel more so if you know people who struggle people who want the information the facts um definitely have them subscribe click that bell button and click all because i want autoimmune diseases to be recognized you know People don't get how hard it is. No friggin' idea. I tell people all the time, it's what I've learned from my doctors and these are facts. I'm all about facts. Is autoimmunes are either caused by genetics, environmental factors, or stress. I got screwed as far as it's mostly stress that caused my issues. Um, like a couple of my smaller ones, like RA and, um, which is a bitch right now, but RA and Raynaud's was genetics everything else was just stress my whole life i did everything alone and on my own i did not have a normal family um i raised myself took care of myself from day one never asked for help never probably could get help if i wanted to and it's been just stress after stress and it just piles on um bad shit happened last year a lot of bad shit happened and I ended up super stressed out. Stressed out more, like my blood pressure is normally low. I was so stressed out, like every day I'm so stressed out where my blood pressure is like stroke numbers. I try to take Ativan to relax it because it all started, we'll just, we'll just say a flare up started around this time last year. Um, my doctors weren't doing shit about it. And I was getting pissed off because my normal autoimmune doctor, Dr. Shapiro, who I see now in Albany, he moved his office yet again. So getting Medicaid to approve when a doctor moves, freaking obnoxious. It took me two years to get them to approve a doctor I've already seen. So can you imagine how much stress that is already on top of me? Now, I remind you that I was put on self-sept and autoimmune suppressant. For some of you guys, like one autoimmune disease, that's fine, but I have like nine. And I lost all my teeth because of that. And he always said not to be put on an autoimmune suppressant again. I have doctors that won't even take my case because if they give me one autoimmune suppressant, it might work for two, but it actually could kill me. So I won't even do it now. I refuse to do autoimmune suppressants. They keep killing me. I'm not doing it. Between life stress and watching my blood work of the inflammatory markers double every time I ask them to do it. They don't do it because I can't get into my autoimmune doctor. My primary who knows my case, she doesn't know to do it. So I tell her when to do it and it's just doubling every time. Where I actually got into a big arguing with them this past week. Medicaid finally approved me to see my autoimmune doctor. So I'll see him January 18th. Thank God. But because I have a new rare disease, neuromyelitis optica, it's only newly diagnosed. I've had it for freaking years. That's why I'm legally blind. And they're acting like it's new. Honey, I've had this for freaking years. Why are you acting like I just got... When you get tested, it doesn't mean you just got it then. It means they're just smart enough to catch on. And I was the one smart enough to figure it out. Nobody else. But my primary sees me all the fucking time. This past year, I saw my ortho doctor. Every month. More than that. Severe inflammation on both my Achilles heels, my arches, my bones kept breaking. My freaking knee keeps giving out because there's so much inflammation it won't click together. It's, it's a holy hot mess. It's RA. I'm in an RA flare for the last year. An entire year I haven't been able to walk, lose weight. I'm normally a very small skinny person, but I gained weight because of depo shot PTSD med. And I can't exercise because I'm broken and I can't really walk well. And when I do walk up and down the block, just the block, my whole freaking body swells up and I can't even walk anymore for days. It's freaking insane. It's insane. I've been a very active person my whole entire life. 
So they were like freaking out saying, oh, maybe it's neuromyelitis optica that's causing my flare up. Listen, honey, neuromyelitis optica flare ups don't last longer than a month. And you know what the protocol is that? First of all, it's a super rare disease. So they think 500 milligrams of prednisone, which is toxic as shit and like unheard of. Even MS patients don't even do that. MS patients, I think, do like 200 milligrams and that's if like in a super bad flare up and in the hospital, they're doing this. They were like, oh, we could do 500 milligrams, you know, when you see your doctor. I'm like, it's not a neuromyelitis. It's just joint dipshits. I'm like, I get pissed, bro. It's been a year. A year nobody would help me. A year I've been suffering. A year all of this. And two years, Medicaid wouldn't even let me see my autoimmune doctor. So I tend to get a little ticked off. So with the high amounts of stress of nobody helping me, I lost it on my primary. Lost it. Because I'm tired of being ignored. I'm the one that suffers. I'm the one that's stressing out because no one's helping me. And I'm watching my markers go so high up, I'm going to be hospitalized soon. And I don't want that. So... My primary's like, oh, you can come in. I'm like, I just saw you. You did my blood work. You don't need any more proof. So I go in there and I explain to her. I'm like, listen, I'm the one that has to walk here. And if I could barely walk and how hard that is, you see me all the time, bro. You knew it. She took pictures of all my inflammation. Like, my hands are massively swollen all the time. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you can literally pick it up, look at the light, and see the water in my, in my hands. My knees won't click in together, all this mess, blah, blah, blah. But she gave me low doses of prednisone. Until I see my um, scleroderma doctor. And he's not even technically... He works for Albany Med because he has a scleroderma clinic. But it's in Malta. And I don't know where the fuck Malta is, but that's where we're going. And it's like a two-hour drive. Who the hell is calling me now? You know, ignore. Stop bugging me. People nonstop call me at the worst times. So, I've been suffering immensely. Stress. Even when you know you're, you know how like when you get really stressed, then like any little thing will just really piss you off more and more, it just piles and it just doesn't stop. And like, I'm trying to meditate, bro. You have no idea. I'm trying to not stress out so bad. I'm popping out of like it's candy. Doesn't work by the way, but stress triggers your immune system, it, your autoimmune diseases because you know, somebody wants to ask me, is fibromyalgia an autoimmune? No, it's not. It's overactive nerves. It's actually a disease. Nobody can prove that it even exists. But even if it exists, it's still not an autoimmune disease. It's, it would be neuro under neurology, but it would be overactive nerves. It's not, it's not dangerous. You can't die from it. And it's not like peripheral nerves or anything like that. I'm not saying it's not painful. Pretty sure it definitely is. It's nerves. It's going to be painful. But there's no test for it. So I got wrongly di diagnosed with that disease way in the beginning of my years of being diagnosed. They're like, oh, it's fibromyalgia. Yeah, guess what it is? I got biopsied, small fiber neuropathy, which is dangerous. I tell people all the time, if they're going to tell you you have fibromyalgia, go get tested. Do the small fiber neuropathy biopsy. Tell them you want that done. If you just have pain in the nerves, then it probably is just fibromyalgia. But if you have more than that, fight to be heard, guys. I can't even express that enough. You have your own voice. If you don't want to be on a med, say it. It's your body, your choice. And that's the one thing I freaking learned after everything I freaking went through is the meds were killing me quicker because I'm such a rare case to have too many autoimmune diseases and three extremely rare ones that the meds were killing me. So I try to manage everything with stress management and try to, you know, I handle all my flare-ups. I don't really get help anywhere. But this is one flare-up I couldn't help. I think I just went through way too much. I gained weight too quick because of all the meds. And, you know, I was once in a really good place. And that's what pisses me off. I know nothing stays good forever. But I was in a good place where mind, body, and soul was in check. Autoimmune diseases were good. All 50 of them. And then when shit happened with my husband, he wasn't diagnosed with bipolar yet. So after we got married, you know, things happened. Really bad things happened.
Then he was diagnosed with bipolar. He's been taking meds. He's been doing good, but still, there was a lot of stress I went through. For people who knew what I went through, you knew what I went through. That was stressful. And then my oldest son wanted to go rogue and do shit he shouldn't. And it's just, and my whole body just blew. So now I'm trying to just stay afloat. Because everybody's like, Heather, where have you been? Trying to make it out alive, damn it. The freaking, my blood work is so bad, guys. I have to go on Monday to get it checked again before I see Dr. Shapiro. And then he's going to take it from there. He originally wanted me on, first I want to state, my primary gave me five or seven days to 10 milligrams and, you know, five, 10, seven days to, so it was like 10 days altogether to 12 days, something like that, of low dose of prednisone, which when you're getting a year flare up, that ain't going to do shit, boo. It took the edge off, I got to say that, but you need to pound this bitch to stop. So I know what's going to happen. Dr. Shapiro originally told her he wanted me to do 20 milligrams for five days, 15 milligrams for five days, 10 for five, five for five. It's for a severe flare up. That's 20 days of prednisone. Jesus Lord. By the way, I hate prednisone. Yes, it helps autoimmune diseases. It does great for inflammation, pain and everything like that. You almost feel normal again. It's great. But the side effects suck badly um by the way guys if you hear traffic noise my window's open sorry can't help it i live on a busy road but stress management is important guys it really really is so when you have an autoimmune disease first of all you have to understand your autoimmune disease that you have so first i have neuromyelitis optica it mimics ms but it's actually worse so there's lesions from my brain all the way down to my spine and what it does it basically eats your spine so eventually I will be completely paralyzed. Whether it's my arms or my legs or both, it's gonna suck. Then you have scleroderma, which is overproduction of collagen. Basically, it's like Medusa turns you to stone from the inside out. It irks me when people are like, oh, you produce too much collagen, you're lucky. I'm like, you dumb bitch. Do you even, I went off on one person at the YMCA, this older lady, and it was, trying to stay cool because she was old. And I'm like, you do know it's a rare, deadly disease, right? If you produce too much collagen, you're turning your body to stone. You know that, right? And then she just shut up. I'm like, that's very ignorant of you and insulting. The fact that you just blew off an autoimmune disease that I'm gonna die from. But you know, I'm young, right? I am so tired of people saying that. Take my advice on something. Don't take shit from doctors. Because they told me so many times in the beginning of the years, you're young, you look great, Heather, you're beautiful. Nothing's wrong with you. Positive blood test, positive all this shit. Oh no, you're fine, boo. By the time I scleroderma doctor, I met him after 10 doctors later, he immediately said it's scleroderma. He's like, but you have something else I can't figure it out. I already have lupus, Strogren's, RA, which is a bitch right now. I don't go into RA flare up small ones, but this one, she's a cranky bitch because I can't even walk up the block without her wanting to blow up like a freaking blowfish. And because it's been so long in the flare up and nobody did shit, it's probably permanent damage. I'm a very active person. I get very depressed when I can't be active. I mean, I don't mean by like extrovert as in like talking to people. I mean like, I don't get alone time. I love it, wish I can have it. And I think everybody should have it in this world. It's rare to get it, I'm just saying. But I love being outdoors. I love exercising. I love doing yoga. I, no joke, like exercising to me is like therapy. It keeps me in check, mind, body, and soul. I feel good. I'm doing good. I don't do it to lose weight. It just so happens that it will happen. And I know I'll end up losing the weight in time. But I like to be able to walk now. It's impossible. Everybody's like, Heather, you need bed rest. Yeah, I do all the cooking, all the cleaning, all the everything at my house. How would you like me to do that? 
I do all the errands. I do everything. Being a mom, a wife with nine autoimmune diseases, guys, I know I don't have a long lifespan and I know I won't be here forever, but I do want to start making educational videos describing each disease, what it does. Anybody has any questions, pop them in the comments of what you want information about. I got you. I will do everything in my power to make that video. Um, I'm also going to teach you guys about skincare because it's so important, you guys. Even with me having scleroderma and overproduction of collagen, not all of me is wrinkle free, but you need to make sure your skin is good. You know, a lot of people that are young, they sit outside rubbing baby oil on them, which is the worst thing you could do with sun and bake themselves like bacon in the sun. And I'm like, dude, your skin's going to be shit when you get older. Skincare is important. So even when you're, you know, wearing makeup, it's, you know, summer, put SPF foundation on you or SPF underneath your foundation. The SPF does matter. And a lot of people think it's just BS, but it's not. Just like wearing sunglasses. Don't wear them because you think you look cool. It's just sunglasses, boo. It's not a whole lifestyle change. But the sunglasses... If you wear them winter, spring, summer, fall, the sun actually eventually ruins the retina and causes damage and people need glasses as they get older. That's why. Because you need to take care of yourself. I want this channel to be brought on on how to take care of yourself, mind, body, and soul. I'm going to teach people how to do meditation at home. Get, bring it easy to you. Some people see all these meditation things like, wow, why is it so hard? It's not. They just get detailed with it. Like um, when I used to go to yoga all the time, but they moved and I'm not walking that far. I can't even walk barely now. But when she does yoga, like she puts you on a raft on a lazy river and gives you details. And I pass out every time. I was like, I got to learn to stop falling asleep. You're supposed to meditate and relax yourself, but not fall asleep. I'll get there one day. I don't sleep much. But I did want to let you guys know everything I was going through. It's been a lot. I don't like to put my personal information out there, like things I'm going through in detail. Um, if I do that, that'll be on Heather B. Denture Diva, and that will be in the memberships. Um, because that means not everybody on YouTube can see it. You have to be a member only. Um, and if this channel eventually gets past 1,000 subscribers ever, um, I'm going to do the same for this channel so I can actually give you the full details without nosy-ass freaking people involved. That annoys me. So that's the only reason why I have memberships. So you guys can get the actual details. Because I don't want nosy ass people up in my business. So that's why. But we'll just say, think of like the worst stress imaginable to happen in one year. And my body said, fuck this shit. Understand that immune autoimmune diseases are systemic their wide body range they affect everything it's your immune system you're the only person that can defeat me is me your immune system it is your disease unfortunately i got too many of them I, you know people warn you when you're younger at any age you know stress is harmful it can cause heart attack and stroke they don't tell you it can cause autoimmune diseases it changes the cells inside you and causes autoimmune diseases. Extreme stress causes it. And I don't mean small stress like, oh, that person annoyed me or people causing baby mama drama or just stupid shit. I'm talking about real genuine stress. Like the severe kind. I care too much about people. And I've noticed that people take advantage of me all the time. All the time. Even my own family. My kids. Like, they'll see I'm suffering or whatever. I still do everything. You know? And they'll fight, do whatever. They know I can't be stressed. And then my diseases start getting worse. And I do everything for everybody all the time. Strangers, family or not. Doesn't matter. But when I need help, mentally, whatever, no one is to be found. Mentally. People are like, oh, that sucks, and then walk away. But yet, they want me to have their back. And that's the whole thing, guys, is please recognize what people do. 
people bring you down more than you realize. And it will ruin you. I've let the stress of my life shorten my life. And am I pissed about it? Yeah. I allowed it to happen. I didn't know. And it's really hard to shut off stress when you have so much compassion, empathy, and care for other people and they're constantly betraying you. And that triggers my diseases all the time. I was in a good place for four years up until about two years ago. And it's been hard. I'm just trying to get myself back. I'm trying to stay out of the hospital, guys. I hate the hospital, but I am not doing high dose of prednisone. Like 500 milligrams will kill you, literally kill you. If I'm not in a going to die right this second, there's no need for it. It's not even the disease, though. Like, they're freaking out talking about neuromodulation. I'm like, wow, I just got diagnosed with it. Honey, I've had it for years, boo-boo. Why are you stressing now? I haven't told my primary. I'm like, you know what's funny? When I was starting to go through all this, you thought I was just a freaking pain-seeking. This is what pissed me off about doctors. I'm like, you guys are ignorant. You become a new doctor. You become arrogant. You're like, statistic this, statistic that. You almost blew up my gallbladder. Actually, you did. I almost died from it. And you ignored me when I told you I knew something was wrong. And just treated me like I just want pain meds, which they don't do shit. Why the hell would I want them? And then all of a sudden she sees everything I go through and I'm like dying every time. And the one time I lost 80 pounds in two months and I almost died. That was awful. And I said to her, do you fucking believe me now? If you don't like your doctor, get a new one. Your voice matters. And this is why Sometimes I cry and break down because I've been bullied and pushed around by doctors and ignored for 10 years, 10 years. Only my scleroderma doctor believed me because he saw it. He was educated enough to know the difference. All my biopsies, all everything, I just get fucking ignored. Get new doctors fight your ass off research meds before you go on them if you have a lot of diseases like me which is rare not many I, like they have no idea they've never met anybody with three rare diseases and then like six medium diseases and two small ones never and they've been doing these shits for years and on the scleroderma foundation board nobody's seen something like this before and of course figured that'd be fucking me but if you suffer from multiple diseases, meds aren't working. The doctors are just making you worse. I'm just letting you know, when I'm off meds, I'm at my best. The only meds I stay on is my GI med I have to be on or my esophagus shuts. Lyrica, because it's the only beneficial one I have, it's actually the only med that works. Um, I do have pain meds. I take a lot of different vitamins because I am um, malnutrition and malabsorption. My body can't absorb vitamins. So I'm on very high dosages or I take shots or IV drips or blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I have anxiety meds and PTSD meds. So, I mean, when I used to be on so many meds and I almost died and had stomach ulcers because of it and all this, the meds were killing me faster than all my diseases. So it's just learning about education of stuff, guys. It's learning on what's best for you what you think is best for you. You know, you can try meds, but I'm telling you right now, I have so many doctors that won't touch me because when you have too many autoimmune diseases, um, an autoimmune suppressant will help one, but then the other ones will kill you because they don't agree with the medicine. It's dangerous. It's fire with fire and it can kill somebody. It's like doctors have a license to kill. It's true. They have a license to kill. They can literally kill people with medicine. 
and get away with it, but we are too uneducated about this shit to know the difference. Well, I'm going to fucking change that shit. I'm going to make sure that everybody is educated like I do with dentures. I'm going to give everything I damn got to do everything I can to help somebody. Because I don't want anybody suffering the way I did. And my life is shortened because of it. And it's not fair or right for anybody to suffer through this. I won't see my kids graduate high school. I won't see them go to college. I won't see them get married or grandkids. I will never see that. Because they robbed me from it. Being ignored for 10 years telling me I'm fucking fine. And then I almost die from it. Multiple times. So I'm going to educate people the truth on the meds. What meds work best with what autoimmune disease. If you have so many diseases, you have less options. But I'm going to give you guys the truth. But I'm just going to stop this video now. It's getting too long. Um, I just wanted to keep you guys posted. I'm going through a lot. I am struggling a lot. And I'm hoping that I can get through this. I'm just doing the best that I can. I need to get more sleep though because I'm freaking tired. Um, but I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'm going to stay on top of this channel. I'm going to constantly keep posting as much as often as I can and give you guys information. Anything you guys want to know about certain diseases, you know, autoimmune diseases or even not autoimmune, anything, just let me know. I'll do a video on it and give you guys the correct information, show you guys platforms where you can go to and read the stuff. Um, and I'll copy the links of where I got my information from. Normally I go to John Hopkins Mayo Clinic because they don't steer you wrong. Um, and there's another one. So I go to the top people imaginable. But I love you guys. I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and please remember, do everything you can to control stress. Everything. Everything. Because it's the one thing I could tell somebody that would save their life with autoimmune diseases. Is if somebody is causing you stress, get them out of your life. Or see them less. Give them the fucking finger and ignore them. Walk away. It's not worth your life. It's not. And I truly hope the one thing that comes out of this is stress can kill you in multiple ways. People might not think it's a big deal, but it is. And it needs to be maintained. Because your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Once they work together and they're like united, it's like a sense of peace and calm. And I've had that before and I'm going to bust my ass to get that back. And not let anybody else destroy me anymore. But I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And do whatever you can for your mind, body, and soul, guys. Um, on YouTube music, there's a whole bunch of meditation stuff. Actually, you know what I listen to, guys? I listen to instrumental Christmas jazz music. That is like my best meditation ever. But later, guys.